Show deleted. What's going on, friends? We are live, and it is Vape Stew Friday. Say what's up, guys. What's up, everybody? It's Demo Vapes. Boy! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the live stream. Who didn't, oh, who didn't mute their channel? Come on. It was me. It was me. Yeah, it was me. I'm dropping stuff. You I'm sorry. Rookie. You uh, rookie. I, I, dude, I'm never going to get better. Boy! Oh. Dude, I forgot to put a hat on. You guys didn't warn me. <laughs> yeah, you're the one that started the, the show. <laughs> I know. It's I had channel. after shower hair. What are you guys doing to me? <laughs> shower with no beard wash. So wait, you're going to wear a thick... No you stole all my beard wash, you punk. <laughs> going to wear a fix hat and we're going to be talking about a non-fix product here? Yeah. Well, that's because I'm going to be vaping my fix, which I have recently fallen in love with, which I'm sure we will discuss this evening. No, no, you fell in love with a sales girl. Oh, that's don't don't that's not true at all. Don't even lie. I saw you. You saw me what? You were like Getting, giving her. Where did my fix go? You're. I think you were trying to coerce some some free shit. Brandon in chat just goes new drinking game. Every drink, every boy. Oh, we're in trouble then. <laughs> Dude, I just had a fix here, and now it's gone. You would, you plugged it in. It's in your charger. No, I took it out of the charger, and I took a rip or two. Oh, you know what? I feel like Nick should say hi, because he hasn't done that yet. Hi. <laughs> uh, that guy. I'm pouring my beer. Beers. Beers. Beers 24-7. Oh, as you guys can all see, we are once again missing Joel, but he is working with a new computer, and so hopefully he can come on very soon uh and join us all and uh yeah you got a question stan in chat which i think will dovetail nicely into our topic for the for the evening but after we you're, say all of our beer and our stuff you're all about the uh transitions dude i always <laughs> try to find a clever transition oh and by the way <laughs> <laughs> i look for clever transitions anywhere i can find them all right let's just run through the chat real quick and say what's up before we do our introductions and stuff give joel like another minute or two to get in here um tony barry's in the house hold on wait very first person user abuser was in here like 8 30 saying what up said wit wetted and ready uh hashtag keeping it moist Keep it um moist. user abuser still in here who's this maffy mc see the dreamer is in a few shops here in the uk now very cool very cool what's up vape sam said vape fam says tony barry um dave satek i saw him in the live shows earlier he said what's up he said so many live shows today holy shit i added the in for effect you um it. the user abuser 25 watching only eight likes hit him up guys listen to the man brandon boats new drinking game you said that already <laughs> what up people hi says vaping with nikki b go check her out she's on a lot of live shows with the hashtag what is it purple Purple, purple crap. I can't remember the name of their, their crew. Hi, that's, Stan. A pretty, that's a pretty weird name. Purple Army. There you Hashtag go. Purple Army. Purple Army. <laughs> they our purple products right here. Yeah, yeah buddy. Purple, purple, pur pur purple. Purple, pur purple. D Rad B Vapen said Demo. USB review. Demo. What do you got to say to that? As soon as I am done with editing my vlog, which will be tomorrow. Thank I God. will be. You I will first. be. If you first. <laughs> I will be reviewing the USB and sending it out your way as soon as that happens. So, sorry about the delay. It's. It is. It is happening. Uh, ECC kind of threw a wrench into my schedule, so that uh, I have schedule. a bunch of a bunch of stuff. Uh, I have a schedule. Don't worry. It doesn't look like it, but I really do. Well, um, <clears throat> I can't talk right now. Anyway. Right. I uh, I have coils to build for coil giveaways. Still from that last thing that we did the last time when I promised coils to people. And that'll happen tonight, and then I'll be editing tomorrow, and then I'll be shooting the USB review hopefully the next day. So that's the plan. So by t by Sunday, I should have the USB review shot. Hopefully, releasing it on Monday, Tuesday, and then I will send it your way. Be rad, be vaping. Thank you for all your right. patience. So for you guys, if you guys hadn't learned, all you got to do is ask uh, Demo something about what he's going to be reviewing in the future, and he tells you his life story. Uh, <laughs> people want to know. <laughs> I just to the I know, I know. What's up, Stan? Just got my dreamer, man. I love this thing. Epic mod. Thank you, sir. Good evening, John A. All right, guys. So, 
Vape Stew today. We are going to do an ECC recap. What, what is that, Nick? What, what is that? We'll talk about it in just a second here when we get going. Okay. okay. All right. Well, we'll we'll give um, we will give Joel a minute to introduce himself and kind of talk about his business that we do at the beginning of the show when he comes in. Uh, we are going to talk a little bit today about ECC. What happened? What didn't happen? What might have happened? And what we're not going to talk about? Hey. Wait, no. And also, bam, bam, bam. Joel's in the house. Say what's up, Joel. What's going on, everybody? Mr. Just Right One checking in. Sorry for the delay, man. New computer. Just everything wanted, everything wanted to update. I think someone got a haircut there. Yes, I did. Yes, Looking I did. fresh. Looking <laughs> fresh. But y'all, I uh, just wanted to be sure to tune in. I'm going to just like mute my video real quick. I'll still be here, but I just want to make sure I get this transferred over so I can see you guys. Just want to let you know. I ain't forgot about y'all. I am here. I know I'm late. I get my tardy slip and all that other good stuff. All righty, cool, Joel. Give me hey, yeah, somebody second. said that my mic sounds terrible. Matthew, is it better? Does the mic sound okay? It's crackly again. It's doing that crackle thing. It's doing, doing your crackle. Your, your your traditional crackly goodness. That's not me. No, it's you. <laughs> it sounds like. Hell, why didn't you guys tell me this earlier? Because it you were in the middle of talking. No, it just happened. It just started happening. Yeah, it literally just started happening. Once we started streaming, it started crackling. The second it. Did it. Uh, all right. Well, you guys start going through your stuff and I'll be right back. Okay. Yeah. Go, Demo. Okay. So the things you want to present me? Oh, okay. I guess, <laughs> I guess we'll just do this live. We'll do it manually, guys. Yo, yo, yo. James Yarrington. All right. So I've got a few things. Um, uh, Mr. Just Right, if he's watching, will enjoy this setup. This is the TM24 Pro Series, black with the uh, red uh, accent pieces on the Titan 2700 that I really wish that I'd gotten black hardware on now. Um, and it's a, it's an awesome vape. Inside that, I have Hometown Hero Stormy. This is Hometown Hero Stormy. This is a cucumber citrus soda. It's delicious. Really, really good. Uh, obviously, I'm rocking the perp setup as usual. Reload BF. With the uh, Drip Tech DS, this is like my ride or die, you know, so to speak, setup to quote Grim Green on. But this is ride or die. Like this is definitely something that I will vape forever because this is awesome. Um, oops, sorry, knocked a rubber can. Um, anyway, and then I've got my Axis Vapes M17 with the Siren 2 up top and gunmetal, and rocking some more hometown hero Angel's Breath in here, 20 milligram salt nick. Um, also. As usual, the Daily Vape TV Boss DNA. This is not a Daily Vape TV a sponsored mod, by the way, but Boss <laughs> DNA uh, 3000. Uh, sorry, Boss 3000 XL V3 DNA 250. And I've got the Aris on top. That sticker placement, though. I know, right? And then the mod that I have just fallen in love with. This is the Dragon. Oh my God, my notifications are covering up my thingy. This is the Dragon Scale 2700 Mac from Lazy Vapors. Check this out, man. This is gorgeous. 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 We've got the Entheon up top. And, uh, yeah, so this is this is that guy right here. Let me see if I can get it to focus a little bit better. Uh, maybe if I get rid of my head. Yep, there we go. It is beautiful. <laughs> and uh, inside, we've got a 2700 VAP cell, and it's a fully, fully mechanical guy right there. Uh, I've got some nine-month-old donut pounder in there, which is delicious. And then I've got the fix and the thing that we're all going to talk about tonight, a new pod system. I figured I would just like leave that as that until we talk about it. There you go. So that's it. That's Oh, and what I'm drinking. Sorry. Uh, I am drinking a Fulton War and Peace. Imperial Coffee Stout. This is out of Minnesota. I'm from Minnesota. This is a delicious beer. Tastes like chocolatey coffee beer. It's great. And that's it. That's all I've got for you guys. All right. Well, uh, let's, let's just ignore Stan for right now because I know he's back, but uh, <laughs> I'm going to go. He's still present. Oh, there he goes. There he oh, there you go. Okay. So, um, yeah, uh, I've got a couple setups here. First and foremost, we've got the Dreamer Mechanical Mod in the lovely Cerakote Black with Brass. Uh, I've got the Recoil Rebel on top of there with the Dock Tip. 
and uh, this setup right here is probably the sexiest thing that has, has been seen in 2018. I'm just saying, sexy little setup here. Works really uh, well. Hey, 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 girl, hey. Uh, we've got some uh, mystery pop. This is by boo, 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 Ovo Distro and uh, Mighty Vapors. Stuff is good, man. I haven't been into candy vapes for a while, but this is like really good. Uh, it's kind of, I call it the hybrid between Skittles and Fruit Stripe gum. If you like that first like chew of Fruit Stripe gum, then that totally like reminds me of that mixed in with a handful of Skittles. So that's amazing. Uh, next setup I've got is my my perp setup, and my drip tip is actually not so perp right now. It's actually kind of halfway between its uh, color changing stages. We've got the DHD uh, double helix designs tip up top there, color changing from the dark purple to a teal. We have the TM24 Pro up top there as well, uh, and I've got my Hexome V3. You know my traditional classic hard hitting ride or die sort of setup. In there, I've got some Medusa, uh, Medusa, Mamasan uh, Guava Pop. We tried this one out uh, at the Mamasan booth, as you guys saw in my vlog. If you've watched that, if you have, you get ten brownie points. Uh, the ne next setup I've got is this one right here, the iJoy Diamond with the Inakin Scion Two Tank. Uh, I've been rocking this setup for quite some time now. I actually roasted a coil by accident at ECC, which we'll probably talk about. Um, <laughs> but I've, I've currently got it up and running, fully functional once again, with some rounds e-liquid blue mango. Um, yeah, blueberry, mango, goodness. What is What more is there to say about that? Uh, then I've got my Zur pod system. This has got the little sour apple pod in there right now. Very, very good. Uh, I've also got a Soul, another pod system that I picked up from Mighty Vapors. Um, this has got the watermelon flavor in there that resembles Hulk Tears. And uh, I think that's all my individual setups here. There, yeah. And last but not least, the Jewel. This is uh, got the mango pod in there right now. And I have one of these on me pretty much at all times. So there you go. That's what I've got rocking. What I'm drinking on uh, is some Sierra Nevada. Hazy Little Thang IPA, 6.7% ABV. If you guys have me added on the untapped app, uh, then you would know that because I actually checked this in. It's okay. It's it's trying to be a New England style IPA, but it, to me, it's way too sour. But hey, that's just me. It's pretty good. It's not good. It's it's not bad. It's pretty good. And that's me. Stan, you're up. Oh, is that better? <laughs> Mike better? Yeah, you sound fine. Better, Mike? All right. All right. So what I'm rocking Make sure to today, present yourself. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so I'm rocking the Titan Parallel 2700 with the Rig Mod Worldwide. What's this called? The number 41 or uh, what's it called? Is that what it's called? I think that's what it's called. Is this that new one? Yeah, it's called the 41 or something like that. Um, and you can talk about it now? I can talk about it, yeah. Good. So I got that, and then I'm rocking the same little Squonk Action 2700 mod with the B2K on it because I can't get enough. And then inside that, I'm rocking some strawberry juice. I don't even remember. Oh, yeah, it's um, it's a uh, uh, nectar strawberry milkshake. And inside the Titan rig mod, I'm running rounds, kiwi, apple juice. That's delicious. And then I'm also rocking what I got from ECC, the 2.1, I think that's what it's called, Squid Industries, Double Barrel, and the Twisted Messes 24 Pro. See, 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 Twist. I'm, I'm repping Twisted Messes, even though Kent acts like he doesn't like me. Um, so, <laughs> and I'm also rocking a couple of pod systems. I got the fix and uh, Nick is full of shit, by the way, about a girl that that was BS. Dude, my wife already got onto me. I walked in the other room and she was watching this thing. She's like, we're going to talk about this girl Nick's talking about. So thanks a lot. I appreciate that. Um, so the fix with the me melon pods in it 
And then also the SMPO little mouth to lung pod system action. And then two more. I'm rocking the Grim Green Edition Me Pod. The Grim Green Edition Me Pod with some hometown hero angel's breath that I got from uh, Sherlock Holmes on YouTube. And then, bam, our product spotlight. So that's what I'm rocking. And for drinking, hold on, I'm like out of breath. Mmm. Y'all have seen this a couple times if you watch my videos on a regular basis. Hopadillo IPA. This is my uh, go-to wonderful Love This Beer by Carbach Brewing. It is absolutely delicious. And we lost Joel. <laughs> yep, we lost Joel again. So I forgot he, to uh, mention my my cream green meat pod. But damn with a smoothie e-liquid banana strawberry banana smoothie there you go ah. all right mine is downstairs <laughs> i just opened this today actually i'm like i'm i'm not going to open it it's it's like collectors and then my uh coworker's like it's not a collectors thing just just open it use it it's a i'm like sticker it's a grim green sticker i i know i know but you know i'll trade I you i'll trade you this one for that one i didn't even get mine signed Oh, I didn't either. Was that a thing? Could we do that? Apparently, people got their their actual pods system signed, and it and it like wore off within like five seconds because it's like a <laughs> it's well, like a you know super glossy surface. Well, Smoking Vapor announced today on their Instagram that they're going to be doing a giveaway for a signed Me Pod Grim Green Edition. Oh, you guys should all go to Smoking Vapor's Instagram mm. and tell them what up because the Me Pod nice. is actually pretty dope. Tell them like we Mee sent Pod you. Better than me one. Yeah, tell them we sent you. Nick, Demo, Stan, and we'll say Joel from yeah. Vape Stew. Fanboying. <laughs> Pretty <laughs> much. Oh, by the way, so I do have to say, Brandon just said drink because someone said boy yep. in the comments. Uh, I think we're going to just do that, leave that as when someone says boy in the... In the yeah, because that could get out of hand quick. Because everyone oh, yeah. will just be typing, bye, and they'll just be like, <laughs> I would so, be out of beer. Tell me in, in chat real quick, guys, do you like the boy thing? Because personally, I love it. Every time I see Demo, all I want to do is just go, boy, I'm drinking for that, too. It's been a thing. Yeah, right. I do Drink it to also. that. Yep. And I, that I think better, I know one. I'm having an audio issue this evening. I'm sorry, guys. I thought I had this all worked out. Turn up your gain. I did. A little bit. Turn up the gain <laughs> in a world, in a world, one man, one way, <laughs> one decision <laughs> to save vaping. Sunday, 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 <laughs> Sunday, Sunday, Sunday <laughs> on vaperadio.com. <laughs> right. <laughs> Where's that? Oh my God! <laughs> what? There, there is that. Check out vaperadio.com, by the way. Vaperadio.com is awesome, and Stan, uh, they had Stan, me on you're gonna be doing. Yeah, there you go. Same, same here. Yeah. We're waiting for, uh, for demo. I may or may not be doing something with Vape Radio. We'll see. Um, so anyway, uh, Chrome says, "Okay, I'm leaving." Okay, bye, Chrome. Um, <laughs> <laughs> is that King Ginger? I think I'm Chrome, King Ginger. Are you King Ginger? You're taking the um. You're taking it too far, bro. Tone it down a little bit. You're taking a piss, mate. Don't make me jump into the chat, bro. Taking a piss, mate. I just, <laughs> I'm just kidding. If if that's King Ginger, he's the troll patrol. He's allowed to be a jerk. Right. <laughs> the um, troll I just smacked my teeth against this metal drip tip for this uh, Entheon. It happens oh, to be nice. from time to time. Nice. Daryl Webb says, "Did any of you make it to the Squid Industries booth at ECC?" Yes, I did. Yes. And I've, I already told you, I got this. What? What? To match this, my LE. What? What? And, um, oh, geez. Whoa, that was like. like What's the owner's like, name? His name is Eric Buss. Eric, yeah. Um, I noticed, like, I didn't say anything, but I noticed he had a fresh, like, pirate ship tattoo. 
And I was going to show him mine. I should have because, like, we could have totally bonded over that. Because, like, his him Aww. his his pirate ship tattoo is very much like mine. I have the black pearl tattooed right here on my arm. I'm not taking my shirt off right now, though. Just trust me on that one, guys. Why not? I'm not doing type, it. All type right. One, type one in chat. No, to get Nick's shirt no. off. Type two to keep it okay, on. I want to see the X ones go. If we want to see <laughs> no. Nick. Shirt off. No, we got to do the one and two thing. <laughs> oh God. Oh uh, yeah. Type one if you want the shoe. To... No, hey, the shoe. No, uh, that dude, you... Grim Green fanboy. I wish with all my wishes, you guys would type one <laughs> or two. <laughs> That's all I thought. Up. I thought that that was really funny. That's, <laughs> all, that's all I have to say. I thought that was very funny. <laughs> it was very funny. <laughs> all right. Um, well, so we should talk about our experiences at ECC then. Well, yeah, let's do it. I was going to say real quick that I actually got an interview with Eric Buss of Squid Industries that I'm going to have in my. You're, um, you're crackling again there, Stan. Man. <laughs> Son I mean, of a bitch. Like about it. I mean, you need I like. Know. You need like gold plated contacts on your mic or something. I don't know what it is. <laughs> high quality. I have a high quality. Dude, I used to do this, man. I have high quality audio stuff. I don't yeah, know you can't doing. figure out a live stream on YouTube. I can't. <laughs> the ball busting is real here, folks. No, we, we really need to do it through XSplit or something, though, for real. Yeah, we'll I talk just, about that off. Maybe, maybe your audio is too high quality. Yeah, it's maybe. Fault, yeah, it's all my fault. USB mic. Yeah, uh, it's called plug and play, bitch. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right, let's just move on. Let's go to the ECC stuff. Let's 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 have our wrap up, shall we? I was gonna say my vlog. My vlog is already out, so you guys know exactly what I did. Right. I recorded if, like ninety percent of my journey. If you haven't checked out Nick Bissett's vlog, go check it out. Don't do it now, but do it later. <laughs> go check it out later if you haven't watched it yet. It is pretty legit. It's you a long the, one. The emo show? The, Demo show. the Nick and Demo show. <laughs> Sorry, Stan was being a social butterfly the whole time. Stan's, yeah, Stan was talking to everybody. That's my impression of Stan. <laughs> social butterfly. Hey, I was working the floor, bro. <laughs> you were, dude. We were letting you do your thing, too. Like, Demo and I were, like, making fun of you as you're talking to the guys from Geek Vape. Oh, man. You're like, yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. You're, you're like... <laughs> Ow. Uh, you were like, all right, we're here at the Geek Vape booth, blah, blah, blah. This is like so funny. And we're just That's back there like, awesome. Stan's it's just... About, it's about your vlog. It's just you and Demo like in the camera and me. You can see in the background in every shot almost. Talking to a booth. Like, talking to somebody. I gave you a spotlight on, uh, on the little juice tasting thing. Oh, dude, no. I'm not complaining. I think it's hilarious. <laughs> I linked I really you in my it. description. No, you're the man, Nick. Hey, oh, we both you. got linked. We, I think we all got linked in the Grim Green description as well. Really? Uh, yes, we did. Oh. Thanks, Nick. If you want to see more of the back of Stan's head, here's the link. <laughs> Go watch Grim Green's vlog for what? exclusive right. back of Stan's All right, house. wait, wait. We should, we should totally do like a, a thing where like if you screenshot uh, the back of Stan's head and email him, you get like something. <laughs> you get something? I don't know. I don't know. I'm I'll backed up on my coil giveaways, guys. So <laughs> a set of demos coils. There you go. I'll oh, pay that's shipping. Too easy. That's too easy. Everybody will send emails like in a heartbeat. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let's talk about ECC while Joel's not here. Yeah, let's do it. So you guys let's go ahead. ahead. You guys start. I'm gonna pull something up. Oh, he's oh. gonna pull something up. Well, oh. so I got to California first before everybody else. So I guess I'll start. Um, and I don't know why that's relevant, but you know, whatever. We can pick <laughs> something. Um. And anyway, so I got there on Tuesday and the, the show started Friday. So I had a bunch of days prior to the show where I was just chilling in California, which was a lot of fun, but nobody really cares about that. Um, the, the show was, was good. I think that I could summarize it very quickly, you know, on a level of, I really had a good time. I thought I met a lot of really cool people. I made a lot of really good connections. We all did. And, uh, but the show was run very interestingly. It was run in a way that was sort of, eh, to me. So, um, but we'll talk more about that, I suppose. Um, I'm not trying to get on ECC here. Like ECC runs a good show and they're, they're a good organization of people and they do a lot for, for vaping. So don't get, don't get my words twisted here, but I did have some issues with some of the way things are run. Uh, I picked up a lot of cool products. I did, I picked up very little juice this time compared to last time. That's for sure. Um, I got like 
maybe 20 bottles of juice instead of my like usual 70 or 80 bottles of juice that I walk home with, you know, like it's like typically kind of crazy, but, um, a lot more hardware this show, a lot of hardware. Holy crap. There was so much hardware. Good Lord. In like, in like the grand scheme of things, there was a lot of hardware. It wasn't like every other booth was hardware, no. but compared to vape showcase, a lot of pod systems and stuff, not really like, you know, hardware, hardware. Yeah, but I mean, there was Vupu there. There was Vandy Vape. Yes, there was yes, yes. Flavor and Geek Vape. They were like all the big names. Vapor DNA was well, there. It's the Chinese New Year, so there was nothing spectacularly new. Right, right, right. Go on. I didn't mean to interrupt. Go no, ahead. No, no, no. I mean, so, you know, it, it was a lot of fun and by far the most uh, vlog time that I've done thus far with, um, with, um, with you guys and on my own camera as well. So um, I'm still putting together the footage for that. Um, I've never done a travel vlog before, so it's kind of a learning experience for me. So it's taken me a little bit longer uh, to get this one out just because I keep running into dead ends where I'm like, I want to do this thing. And then I have to go Google it and then figure out how to do it, you know? And um, that's that's kind of a thing. But the it, it, it will help me, um, <laughs> right? It will help me for uh, getting you know, better videos in the future. Anyway, um, I don't know. What, did you guys have anything you wanted to talk about specifically? Like, I mean, obviously specifically, yes, but that was kind of my overview. It was a good show. Interesting the way it was run in certain cases. Um, why don't you just say it, man? Just what? say it. Oh, okay, fine. There's, well, with Jesus. There's, uh, so we couldn't bring backpacks into the show. We couldn't bring backpacks into the show unless you were a vendor. And I don't know if you guys have ever been to vape shows. I mean, I'm sure some of us, some of the people here watching have, but you need a backpack. And especially if you're a media individual, if you have a YouTube channel, if you're, you know, anything like that, um, <clears throat> you, you have to, you have to have a backpack. Like I had all my camera gear. I had, you know, mods, batteries and business cards. And it threw off my whole flow to not be able to have my backpack when I was walking around. So I had to kind of plan ahead and you know bring my camera and bring like a little bag so that i could bring stuff in and then i forgot my business cards and it was just sort of like a you know just sort of a nightmare from that standpoint and there were people that were leaving the show like as we were standing out nick and i were standing outside um or no 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 no. stan and i were standing outside and nick was already in and we were waiting and i think this is no 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 <laughs> no 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 Stan was currently at the airport at that time trying to get to ECC. This is a whole other thing. Nick and I were waiting outside and I was, we, I watched a couple walk out and we're just like, like, ah, oh, there's no way we're coming back here. You know, fuck that. Like, it's like, you know, like, forget it. Like they're not letting people bring backpacks in. There was a lot of anger about that. And so then I walk in right after I finally got in the first day, um, we, Nick and I got our backpacks in by methods and means. Um, but after I walk in the first thing, uh, what, you know, uh, yeah, it was, it was just sort of a, you know, there was, there was a thing that happened. Should we talk about it? Yes. Okay, no, cool. I just no. wanted to, no, <laughs> no. See, Stan doesn't want to talk about it on his Why? channel. I want to talk about that on this channel. Okay. What? Um, oh, damn it. But I, I, that's I an experience. It's part of the experience. It's part of the, the whole thing. There's no blame being laid. We already talked about it on my vlog. I know, but I just didn't want to talk about it on this. Why? It's However, a thing that happened. It's important news. Well, we've already talked about it a lot now, so I feel like we should talk about it. Yeah, the no backpack thing really screwed me up. I had to use a little cinch bag backpack. Everybody yeah, the, the cut into your shoulders backpacks. Yeah. yeah. That, that's okay. A cinch bag backpack with all your junk in it's okay, but not a backpack. Like, I, what's the difference? Um, I, um, the, 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 fine. Yeah. Okay. It's really <laughs> simple. Uh, there. Well, well, look, I'm, I will be diplomatic. Don't you worry. don't have to say names or anything. Right. There was a dual twenty seven hundred mech mod that exploded at a booth at the show. The company's booth that it exploded at doesn't matter because we're not sure of the details, whether it was the fault of the company or whether it was someone else's mod that they set down on the camp counter or whether it was the mod that they got in their hands that they put an atomizer on or something. That we don't know the details as to what happened. But there was a 2700 mod stack that exploded about 
mm, 15 feet away from me when I first walked in the show. And let me tell you guys, if you haven't been around an exploding battery before, that shit is loud, man. It sounds it sounds like a gun going off. And no, we're not. I'm not going to tell the name because it 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 really doesn't matter. And and I'm I'm, I'm going to keep to that Rack. because it it because th there is no blame. You know what I mean? I don't, and I don't want to throw a company under a bus that may not have had anything to do with it, right? So it just it just goes to show that you guys need to be safe. Yes. And, uh, always consider people around you yes. as well as yourself. And, and the thing that. Oh, ahead. sorry. The thing that I had a problem with, no footage of it, sorry, because was, I wasn't filming at the time. Um, the, the, the thing is that this was a, the B2B day at a vape show. Like, this is an industry show. Why are we having mech mods exploding at an industry day of a show? Like, that, we should be way past that, right? Like, we should be way, way past that. And that's why I wanted to talk about this, because it's like, this shit is still happening. Why? Why is it pounding on your desk, Dima? Sorry, I guess I am. Sorry, it fires me up. Like it's like it's it's irritating. You know what I mean? Like it's like I don't know. It irritates me a lot. So I thought there was like a high school band coming down the street. Yeah, marching band. Oh, it was. It's just one of those. I wasn't there because I was dealing with flight delays and yeah, <laughs> yeah that's that's a whole I man uh, that's a whole another story i'm not even gonna get into because stand so by you're, yeah that's your yeah, i was on nickname. standby it's on standby so love it there's no there's no reason for you to be pushing the limits of your batteries to a point that they're going to fail i mean and for people that run you know what i'm just gonna say it i don't care if i hurt feelings with this um because it's not safe if you run your point zero fives and things like that on a battery that on any battery there's not a battery out there that can take that okay yeah it works it works for a little while one of my friends was giving me a hard time he's like oh the battery won't won't vent it won't vent it's not called venting it's called thermal runaway by the way well, um yeah. and uh yeah oh, oh this, you're full of shit no da, da, da. this is what my friend says to me and he's partially joking and he partially doesn't care but uh at the same time I, it will. It'll happen. It doesn't. It may not happen the first time. It may not happen the tenth time. But it's gonna happen. But basically, it's like any transmission that you or any any part of a car that you're revving up beyond its limits, it's gonna fail a lot sooner than if you drive the car normally. If it's not made for that kind of performance, it's not gonna last the way it should. Stan, so, what what did you just do just there? Because you were Crackle City for a second, and then you just boom, perfectly. Was fine. I didn't do anything. Uh. I didn't do anything. I, don't know. I thought it was my fan, so I turned my fan off. I thought it was my USB stuff plugged in, so I turned that stuff off. Um, eh, whatever. I, I, I don't have anything interfering, and I made sure that everything was turned off in the house. This Where's is your only... phone? My phone? Uh, you think that's put it? Put your phone away. I threw it across the room. Okay. All right. <clears throat> that's it. All right. So <laughs> Somebody you... said it magically got better. So, so bottom line is, yeah, it was industry. It was industry day at ECC, and a fucking battery exploded. I'm sorry for cursing, but Jesus, are you kidding me? Yeah, that's that's pretty bad. <laughs> We're all supposed to know about this stuff, you know, like, <laughs> like, uh, you know. I mean, I and, and the only thing I could come up with is that it had to have been a hard short, you know, or it was likely a hard short because but typically, typically, anyway, batteries, when they're drawn continuously at too high an amperage, will just vent, right? And, but a hard short typically results in thermal runaway, right? So, uh, you know, like, I, I, I don't know, you know, and I guess there's an infinite number of things, right? There's an infinite number of things that could have happened. So, there, you know, doesn't need to be any more speculation on it, but at the end of the day, that was the thing that happened and that kind of, and I just, I had just walked into the show. I, you know, after like dealing with security and being angry and then I, I have tinnitus in my right ear. And so, you know, this mod goes off and my right ear is ringing for half the show and I'm just standing there and I like was kind of walking around just like, you know, shell shocked a little bit because it was so loud. And uh, you know, it, it sounded like someone was shooting. Honestly, like I kind of turned and I was immediately like, "Who's shooting?" You know, like what what's what's happening? Like it sounded like a nine millimeter going off. And uh, yeah, so anyway, so that happened. And then luckily, everything after that ran a lot smoother. So 
um, it was just kind of a rough start to that. So anyway, um, what's going on, Joel? <clears throat> got Joel in the house again. Talk about aggravation. I'm about ready to chunk this freaking computer back out in the front yard. <laughs> Do it. Do it on video. Let's watch. Explain. Uh, no, I just went ahead and made the jump and been holding off on content to upgrade the content that I send out to people and make sure that it is, you know, up to standards, you know, and I've got this in today and I spent all afternoon working on this damn thing after mine and Richard's live stream. And it's been nonstop since. And I'm like, dude, there's no way you pay this kind of money for something. And you have these kind of problems. You know what I mean? When a man drops over two grand on something, that son of a bitch better work. <laughs> <laughs> That's just the way I am about it. I have zero patience with stuff like that. And it's just one thing after another, after another, after another. And I'm just like, Ugh. but I got this stick thing. Oh yeah. That's our, uh, that's Good, our product spotlight. We're going to talk about that. That's We're going to talk about this. Stick. Why does yours look fancier than mine? It's because of the logo from, uh, he got a Cubano. And oh. Got Cubano and you two got mangoes. Okay. We're going to talk about that on the product spotlight, though. What else are you yeah. vaping on? Fire Luke Mesh on the Arc 240. And... That tank looks cool. Yeah. That... Dude, I love that fire that mesh tank. I already said it before. I love that damn thing. Pat, that was our whole uh, live stream earlier as well. Guys, I, I'm sorry. I know the crackle's there. I honestly can't do anything about it. I've done everything. <laughs> our, I, I don't know what the deal is. It's not happening right now. Well, they're saying it's back and whatever. I mean, I've killed all the power in here except for fine. this light back here. Just shut off your computer. It'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I'll just turn everything off. <laughs> And uh, Vapes 2 is over. No. Yeah. No. No. I'm sorry. I still love you guys. What else you got there, Joel? Uh, that's the arrow kit. By Sense, here I am going to my new camera that y'all don't even get to see, but it's a Sense <laughs> arrow kit. Does the lights for your vape. <laughs> it lights up your life. Wait, so what is this? Wait, what? What? Uh, <laughs> what? Oh my god. Dude, turn off the lights and do that. <laughs> One yeah, yeah, we need to that's see that. Awesome. We gotta see that. We gotta see that. <laughs> that's that's I good. think that's both awesome and awful at the same time. <laughs> I'm, I'm yeah. right there with you. You know what right I mean? Like it's it like detects the vape. <laughs> no, there must be a button. Whoa! Whoa! I don't That's think he's crazy. pressing a button. Joel, how's it doing that? Or does it just go off? Does it like happen as soon as you let it? He looks like you're shooting fire. <laughs> That's the Sense Arrow Kit, man. Big shout out to Michael Zing with Sense Manufacturing. Really, really good personal friend of mine. Uh, he's one of them Chinese dudes that has always shown me love and believed in me from day one. So I got to plug him on that. I got to thank him for that. This is an early beta. He made that very clear to me and I'm waiting for retail versions. It has some quirks to it. It's going to be something really neat. It's going to be catchy. People are going to like it that blow them big cloud comps and all that. They're going to jump all over that thing, but it's just one of them catchy quirky deals, you know, something that some people will like and some people will hate. I got to commend them for doing something nobody else has done, you know, to kind of propel and look forward to tend to a market that is out there. You know, there are younger 21, 19 year old vapors that want to light up the night. <laughs> well, does it have a separate switch? Is that what's setting off the lights? Yes, you have one switch here. Uh -huh. And this switch here does not fire until after you fire. <laughs> Whoa. That's hilarious! <laughs> Whoa! Come on! Yeah, user abuser is 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 entirely telling how I feel. It's like very torn, very cool, but douchey at the same time. I completely agree, but I do think it is very cool. Do you have anything you're drinking on, Joel? Man, I'm not. I'm drinking a Dr Pepper. Like I said, this computer thing has had me livid. Livid. I mean, like beyond pissed off right now. Well, if it's worth anything, dude, you're a lot smoother than you have ever been. 
Well, this is still on my freaking phone, so. Oh well, <laughs> well then. Yeah, you look pre- like you're you're. It looks pretty damn good right now. Everything looks great right now. I spent some really good money in trying to get up to y'all's level and shit. I get knocked back down, but hey, it's just one of the things that happens. I got to work the bugs out of it. I didn't think I'd spend the better half of six hours working the bugs out of it, but hey, it's hard getting. It is new, what it is. Yeah, it's hard getting a new computer and then having to be like, and now I'm doing a live show, you know, and then it's like, you know, without much setup or, or time or anything like that. So <clears throat> we get All right, it. So we had a question about ECC from somebody. They asked if we had seen the own boy OC dual Gwonker. And the answer to that is yes. Yes, we have. Yes, we Unfortunately, all we could do is hold it. We weren't allowed to like actually use it or couldn't but buy it. Was one. it a functioning sample or was it just a dummy? I don't know. There was some there and there was some at another booth, which I don't know if they were supposed to have it or not. I mean, there was a screen in the mod. So, I mean, my assumption is that it was functioning, but, you know, I mean, there, there were prototypes, but they looked really cool. You know, like they looked, they, they felt really nice in the hand. Um, it looked it looked really cool, so I'm I'm into it. I'm gonna get one when it comes out for sure. Like that's, what I was think one fifty five, one fifty five watts. Yep, five to one fifty five regulated dual yep. eighteen six eighteen six fifty. And I like that because they're not overstating the capabilities of two batteries. You know what I mean? Like they're they're he's keeping it realistic. It's a real one hundred and fifty five watts. You know, not not some sort of Dude, you know thing. It felt awesome in the hand. It looked cool. The finish was nice. Um, I can't it looks great one. with the, the recoil rebel, the colored ones on there. Finally, yeah, yeah, thank god. Real. Bear with me, guys. I'm leaving this one. <laughs> All right, <laughs> <laughs> okay, bye. Like, hey, must have been, bye Joel. He's got to do those updates, dude. <laughs> those Windows updates. Oh man, yeah, I don't know what's going on. He was on his phone, though. Well, no, yeah, I the- mean, he, he must be jumping back on in his computer. Oh, okay. Well, all right, that's yeah, my the bottle, guess. Uh, the bottle is really cool on it. Um, I mean, I'm not real sure. I mean, I guess he's shown pictures of it, right? We can talk about it, right? You can talk about it, yeah, all you want. Yeah, the bottle it's is like in between the batteries, like on the side, like at your finger when your finger's wrapped around the mod, not around the end. So hey, earlier, like yeah, earlier I mentioned it feels like the, um, what was it, Minikin 2. Yeah. Okay, Smotus Minikin 2. It feels like that, that, that shape, a little bit bigger. But you can like squonk it with your middle finger or your ring finger, and it feels good. Yeah, in the hand, it definitely feels good. Is it gene chip? No, the gene nope. chip was it's proprietary mod, right? Yeah, proprietary, it's a proprietary chip. chip. Yeah. Yep. The, um, so we'll the new see. Eighty watt is a gene chip, I think, right? The new pulse eighty watt. Pulse yep. 80 pulse, 80 watt. We did also see that the new pulse eighty watt from Vandy Vape and Tony B. Excuse me. Um, they weren't allowed it, to open it or anything. Like they were very protective about that thing. Yeah, no, he um, he just could show us off the outside, but yes, that will be an eighty watt gene chip, which is awesome because the gene chip is fantastic. Yeah. absolutely, absolutely. It's funny because like Tony was like more protective of it than the the Chinese guys because the Chinese guys were like getting ready to like open it up, and Tony was like, no, 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 <laughs> <laughs> we can't do that. No, no, no. <laughs> Yeah, yep. it, it looks gorgeous. Good. He's got carbon fiber panels coming. He's got all new panels, and they are interchangeable, of course. Dual sided acrylic panels. Um, the resin's really nice on it. I do a spotlight on my vlog. I think Nick has a spotlight on his vlog. Yeah, um, I think we all did. Yeah. Or, no, no, I know. I got. <laughs> I can't talk about it. <clears throat> what? I can't talk about it. It's in Demo's vlog, but I can't talk about it. Whoa, what are we talking about? It's a special segment. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. (laughs) I don't really know what we're talking about actually right now. Whatever, whatever. I'm lost. Don't worry about it. I was talking to people. Just just, just, Um, wait for the vlog, apparently. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. but no, it was a lot of fun. It was a ton of hardware. I was so happy that it wasn't a juice, juice bonanza. Um, There was a ton of juice, (laughs) but (laughs) honestly, it was about 50 50 hardware juice, which I don't think I've ever been to a show like that. Um, Uh, I wouldn't say 50 50. Felt like, come on, Mr. There's a lot more, Uh, dude. You're giving it way too much credit. Yeah, well, that's a that's a a California show, man. California, it's way easier to travel to California than it is like the Midwest or like Florida or anything for Chinese people because China, uh, China and LA is like what a 10 11 hour flight maybe a little bit longer um 
all the way to the East Coast from China. You're talking 17 to 20 hours travel time. It's a, it's a royal pain in the ass. So, of course, they're going to show it off in California. Hmm. Just th thinking of it logistically, you know. Um, but it's also California, the, the hub of the vaping industry. Um, so, you know, they want to show uh, off their products at the big market. I just want to give a shout out Mike's Mech Reviews and Bob Buckland of uh, Cafe Intervapor in the house. Um, Bob says, what was the most innovative, well-built, and held your attention the most device-wise? Hmm. At the show? At the show. Shout out Mike's Mex, by the way. It is currently five hours ahead of my time. So it's almost 11, 12, 1, 2, 3. It's almost, what, 4 a.m. over there, Mike? Jesus. Jesus. 348. Yeah. So uh, uh, held my attention. Um, Probably some of the desire, the desire stuff at their booth, actually. Absolutely. They had some cool stuff going on in that booth. Yeah, Desire, they definitely had some good stuff. They had this mech mod squonker, okay? And you basically took the mech and screwed the body of your mech into it, kind of like a family box from uh, uh, Switch Mods. You screwed the body of the mech into it, and it had the squonk on the other side. And it looked like it was stabilized wood, but I believe it was resin. I'm not quite sure. They had something like that. Um, they had a bunch of really cool, small, single single battery mods that I was really into. Uh, I got some pictures from there, but I don't think I saved them. Like, I don't know what happened to them. I got a picture oh. of me and the little sales lady holding up a mod I was going to put on Instagram, but I can't find it now. So I don't know what happened to that, uh, those pictures. But yeah, that was, that was cool. Um, what about the Cali? Oh, ooh, yes, the Cali. Uh, Do you have it on you? <laughs> hashtag stand shorts i think honestly though honestly if if i had to pick one item i would have picked the tm24 pro series because kent took his time when he had all these other people around to take it apart and show it to me and like show all of the stuff and i went back and because i had jumping resistance problems on my first one and i don't know what that was um and I took it back and I was like, I'm having some serious problems with this one. It's like jumping resistance, blah, blah, blah. And Kent goes, oh, he goes, well, no, here, take take these three for your trouble. And I was like, <laughs> yeah, wait a second, you're, just, you're giving me three 24 pros? And he was like, yeah, man. And so one of our, one of Nick and I's and Stan's subs, um, <coughs> he was there. And so I was like, here, do you want an RDA? So gave James Franklin the gold one. Which shout I know. Out to James Franklin. Uh, shout out to James yeah. Franklin. I don't know if you're here, but um, gave him the gold one, which, uh, <clears throat> as you all know, gold and I get along very well. So I was. You just I said was, gold and I. <laughs> gold and I. Ah. <laughs> we get along very well. And so uh, I was sad to leave that, but I'm sure he's having a great time with it. And <laughs> the I now have a black and a blue one. So, yeah. Thank you. I Mary actually. Spikes. I appreciate that. What is Mike's that? He said, you have a terrific sense on the market, and your dreamer deserves all the hype. Oh, well, there you go. Let me just show this up one more time. Sexy. 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 Ah, sex, sexy. Would, would one say that it's ill as breasts? What? <laughs> the new coating is awesome, by the way. How's your coating holding up? This is the... <laughs> The, um, the the second rat run of the dreamers. That's like an inside joke. Are nice. It's holding up nicely. I've been throwing it in my bag, kind of you know, just kind of throwing it in there, and it's kind of rattling around a little bit. I don't treat my not mods nicely. I, I'll be honest about that. Um, it's got one little tiny tiny speck right up near the five ten, but other than that, it's perfect. Okay. Cool, because yeah, I didn't, I couldn't speak. It's it's microscopic, microscopic, the, dude. Right. People were asking about the longevity of the new coating, and I was like, I don't know, I don't know, I, I can't, you know. But it does seem to be uh, when you hold it, and when you, I've been using it for a little longer than Nick, and uh, mine looks, mine looks great. And Nick just said his looks looking great. So, if that's any kind of uh, help, tale. Um, Mike, actually. Wait, can Stan, can you confirm or deny the availability of the Black Dreamer in the UK? I 
do not know. Um, the Black Dreamer should be available everywhere the Dreamers are sold. Um, so I know DDW Clouds is is one of their uh, one of their retailers. Also, oh, what's the other one called? SimSig is also one of their retailers. I know it's available in some local shops. As far as the Black, I do think that they told me that the Black and Brass is not going to be available anymore. So if you can find one um, and you want that, you might as well pick it up because they're not going to be around. I have a few. I just restocked the site, and I have a few uh, of each color on the site, lucidrda.com right now. Um, but the Black and Copper, I believe, is going to be the only thing you're going to be able to get going from now on. Um, but my the the... There was two products that really held my attention, and I think as well as y'all's. One was the Cali RDA. This is by QP Designs. I believe they said this is the same company that made the B2K. Okay. Has like good From airflow. Canada, eh? From Canada. It says Cali on it right there. And uh, I'll go over this. I'm going to review this thing. This thing held my attention. Um, and uh, I... I mean, all of us were really interested in this thing. Also, what we're going to do on the product spotlight is Stig. This little Stig guy here, which is, here's the SMPO and here's the Stig next to it. So if that gives you any kind of idea of size, it's shorter than a cigarette. It's as big as my thumb. It's as big as Nick's thumb. I thought you were talking about something else until the screen popped up. Uh, but yeah, no, that, that, those are the two things that really kept my attention. Um, I know that you guys are pretty interested in them too, but uh, I don't know if there was anything else. I, I think honestly, the biggest things that held my attention were the Pulse 80, uh, Omboy OC's uh, Squonker. The Stig was pretty good, but it's, it's kind of just like kind of lost in a sea of other pod systems that are out. It didn't really get the spotlight for me. Um, there's the things that we can't talk about yet. <laughs> um, but other than that, yeah, I mean, it was it, there was quite a bit of hardware there. I, I'm not going to lie. There was quite a bit. But I'm going to say more like 70 juice, 30 hardware. 70 juice, 30 hardware. Okay. That's my interpretation. 60, Let's go. <laughs> I, is it a 60-40? Is it a 70-30? I don't know. Let's say a 60-40. Sure. There you um, go. You know what? I don't know where where Joel is, but uh, let's go ahead. We've we've been on for an hour. Let's go ahead and get into this product spotlight. Yeah. Um, and, and Joel can just chime in when he gets here. Uh, this is the Stig by what's the name of the company? Nick. Salt Nick, Nick. Salt Salt Nick. Yeah. Salt, Salt Nick brand. Name of the company is Salt Nick. Um, they do the Miley and some other stuff, right? So they have come out with this Stig. This thing is a disposable it is a fully charged here's a, here's a light fully charged fully loaded with your juice of choice the one i have is cubano by v god okay this cool nick and i have tropical mango yes they have the tropical mango flavors and it is made that when it's done you throw it away what do you guys think 60 milligrams, by the way. 60 milligrams. 60 milligrams. So we've kind of we've kind of gone down or we've kind of gone up, and then now we're like punching through that 50 milligram ceiling that we've had for a while. Um, I think it's really cool. <clears throat> I have two problems. Two problems with it only. And well, let me talk about what I like about it first, and then I'll tell you my problems. Um I like that it's easy. You just pop it out of the pack, vape it. When it's when that light turns off, you just toss it away. And then, you know, the throat hit is, is pretty legit. I just saw user abusers thing. I was coming to that next. Throat hit is pretty awesome. Um, yes. it it's, got a, it's got a mean throat hit. Um, it's not like totally, uh, like my fiance can't really deal with like super, super crazy Nick levels and she could do this just fine. Um, <clears throat> so, so I like that a lot. My only real issue with it and I'm not like a huge Greenpeace, you know, like save the planet kind of guy, but there are going to be a lot of batteries in landfills if these catch on. You well, know what I mean? Okay. A lot more batteries. Can I can I retort to that real quick? Go for it. Um, the thing is with empty batteries, with dead batteries, they're not really going to be that harmful to anything because their fluid inside is completely depleted. 
Well, assuming it cuts off at totally dead, right? Mm -hmm. Like, you know, if it's, well, if it's a lithium ion, for example, which I doubt that they'd use a lithium ion, you know, they don't cut off typically at totally dead. Right. Welcome back, Joel. We're doing sure. our product spotlight. We just started on these stigs here. Uh, Sorry it took so long, guys. Shit. That's okay, man. That's okay. You're welcome back whenever you get done. Um, it's better now, right? Is it better? Hey, nice, yeah. Baby. yeah you look great. Absolutely. Okay. Thank you. Way you better sound than better than Stan. <laughs> <laughs> so um, basically, the stig comes in packs of three. They said it was going to be anywhere from $18 to $20 for a pack of three. Each one will give you about 200 puffs. Which is about and equivalent to a pack of cigarettes. Absolutely. So you're getting three packs of cigarettes for about 20 bucks. And you finish it, you throw it away, and that's it. I mean, I, I, think, I think it's, for one, okay, they also told me that they were going to, I talked to the guy for a long time. They also told me that they were going to tweak the airflow because the airflow, they said the airflow was kind of whistly, but I don't get that. Mine's just kind of loud, like, You can kind of hear it. It's got that high pitch. Okay. Yeah. That, they said they were going to adjust the airflow, and they said they were going to tweak the juice a little bit, give it more flavor. Um, but mine has been pretty good. I don't know. What do you think about it, Joel? You just got it today. It's it's trippy. It's <laughs> uh it's going to be a very catchy device. I'll tell you that right now. It's been very very catchy. I'm very impressed with it. Uh, the Cubano. Thank you. I don't know who decided to send me that one, but. Very reminiscent of smoking a cigar. The flavor I got off of it, that V got, I hadn't had that profile yet. So I was very impressed with it. The flavors are really good. I'm actually really impressed with the tropical mango flavor. It's a great flavor. And that's the thing. It's like sometimes these pod systems, you know, you'll get the flavors and they'll be like, mm, you know, it'll be like kind of close. But, you know, in the same sense as the Miley and stuff, I mean, the juice that's in it is Nick's holding up some stuff there. <laughs> um is uh you know the, that is kind of the uh yeah i think that it's i think that the flavor is better than the flavor i get off a of jewel you know and that's just me but i think that's, this that's is going to be a bold statement it to be able to take statement. this with me somewhere I can just stick it in my pocket you know what i mean if i'm in a meeting or something i don't have to carry a big bulky ass mod dude that is tiny that, that is super tiny like even i know the jewel and the siren and all that are small too but this is this like coin pocket friendly, that little pocket in your coins, your blue That's jeans. Exactly where I carry it, Joel. I carry it in that little pocket. Yeah, I have big it hands. Just, it works is, for me. This can is, I can, uh, can I do a quick little uh, flavor comparison? Yes, you may. All right. <clears throat> so as I was holding up, I have the uh, Stig, the Miley, and the Jewel, all with mango pods or flavors loaded up, ready to go. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to start with the Jewel because that's my kind of basis of comparison. I know the Jewel mango a lot because I've been vaping pod after pod. So let's go ahead and try this one out. Now, on a flavor comparison basis, I'm going to rate this out of 10. Uh, I would give the Jewel mango. What are we, Jay Hayes? <laughs> 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 oh man! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna rate the the Jewel Mango an eight out of ten. It's pretty darn good. You can't really taste the nicotine in it, which is a good thing for me. Um, and it's a very kind of natural, fresh tasting mango. Now, comparing that to the Miley, which has the, pretty much the same juice as the Stig, it's made by the same company. Let's go ahead and try this one out. I can taste a lot more of the nicotine in this. Yeah. I could definitely taste a lot more nicotine. The flavor is a lot more muted. I'm going to rate that a 6 out of 10. You know what? Uh, total honesty right now, I'm going to do this about a 7 out of 10, uh, the Stig, just because it has more flavor than the Miley Pod. However, it's a totally different mango than the Jewel mango, and it's not quite as like that fresh, juicy kind of mango. It's like a, a, a almost dry, earthier kind of mango. I haven't actually and tried it, the Jewel mango before. Which they is, also it's, said that they're gonna they're gonna modify it to have more flavor as well, which is and, 
it's a very similar flavor to a lot of the other mangoes on the market. Like the bow mango, if someone mentioned in, in chat, uh, Demo, actually. <laughs> Demo, you mentioned the bow mango. It's very similar to the bow mango, I would say. Um, See, bow mango tastes like crayons to me, though. Really? Uh, I, the, I, got a bow I got a mango crayon flavor from the bow mango. <laughs> well, I, I think the, then the stig beats out the, the bow in that case. Um, I, I rate the, the bow mango probably about a six, maybe a five. So, yeah, overall flavor is really good on it. I'm quite surprised. Well, I personally think that if these things are available to those that are trying to quit smoking and they get into like gas stations and things like that, I think that it'll be a lot easier to transition with something like this being readily available and being able to just toss it and pick up another one and just go and it's already charged. You don't have to worry about it. Um, you don't have to keep track of it. You lose one. It's like, oh, I got two more. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I just was going to bring that up. Like, if you do lose it, what's really nice is that, you know, if you lose your fix or if you lose your jewel or if you lose your Miley, et cetera, et cetera, you, you, you've lost your device. So now you have to spend 35 bucks or whatever for another device, right? If you lose this, you just pick another out of your pack and you lost, you know, what, five bucks, seven bucks, you know, like that's a bummer, but, you know, it's, it's, it's definitely possible to, you know, it definitely makes it a little bit easier to swallow, especially if you're, bringing this somewhere where you it's or if you're a klutz and you have a habit of losing things you know then that's totally a thing one thing i do like about it is the fact that if you come across a smoker you step out and you see a smoker and you want to give them something to try i'd be more inclined to give them one of these and i give them a damn joel or a bow or something like that hell i'd oh, hang one of these yeah. away in a heartbeat i didn't even yeah, think absolutely. about that absolutely it cost me five bucks to give somebody one of these i'd yes. give it in a heartbeat as well yeah and especially out of this Cubano, the flavor I'm getting off this, I'm not joking, guys. When I first got it, I was like, holy shit. And then I seen it was only 290 puffs on average. It's like, well, that's kind of downside for me because I know I'm going to love this thing and I'm going to want more of them. <laughs> well, so. I rocked this thing all day yesterday. I saved it so that we could spotlight it on the show because we had them at the show and we tried what they had. And then they gave us, they only had a few of these. They gave us some prototypes just to do this show with. Okay. And. What's going on, DJ LSB? He's in the house. Um, What's up, DJ? Yeah, I, I used this all day yesterday, started using it, and I'm still using it now. I didn't start using it again until about an hour and a half ago, and it's still going strong. It doesn't even feel like it's the battery's weighing down on me. So I think it's a really, really positive step forward this year, and it makes me happy. If there was a theme to the show, in my opinion, the ECC show, it was pod systems. Oh, yeah. And this one definitely stood out, which was very strange to me that nobody was around the booth when we were there. And I think it was because they were so close to the squad booth. Yeah, <laughs> probably. They were like right across the way. They were like kitty cornered. Mm -hmm. Anybody near that booth was kind of short sighted. Oh, man. Uh, can we just, like, talk about that for a second? Like, that booth was packed the entire show from the moment I showed up there from the second they closed down the show. It was packed. And it was the only booth like that unless there was a giveaway going on. Oh, yeah. God. Oh, jeez. Can we talk about that for a second? <laughs> mm -hmm. um, the giveaways in California, the, the hashtag team free shit is just ridiculous, in my opinion. I even hollered at some guy that like was like <laughs> he was like about to plow me over. I'm like, whoa, 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 chill out. Everything's cool. Still gonna be there. Calm like, down. <laughs> T-shirts being thrown out and people like punch you in the face over them, man. Like <laughs> you almost got your camera knocked into several times. Everything that I caught, I gave to uh I gave the James. <laughs> I was like, oh James, you want a t-shirt? Oh James, you wanna here's a rag. Like, oh, here's some juice. <laughs> Dan, you're a pretty tall dude, man. So I imagine you caught a bunch of shit too. Nick's taller than I am. I'm not that tall. Uh, it was, uh, Nick, it was, you're not that tall. I don't even reach for it though. I'm just like he's I just tall, look. Man. How tall are you, Nick? I'm six two. Yeah. You're taller than like, I thought. I'm <laughs> Demo, how tall are you? You're muted. Demo's he's muted. muted. Yeah, sorry, sorry. I had some technical difficulties there for a second. Um, I'm 5'11". Yeah, we're I'm about the same height. 
I uh, I did want to say though, if you watched uh, Nick's if you watched uh, Nick's vlog and during the demo and stand takeover, we 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 caught a fair. I feel like we caught a fairly raw capture of what vape shows are like. You know, everything was super loud. I had to yell, which I definitely <laughs> yelled more than I needed to, but I didn't know how much I had to yell because I wasn't. I was looking at the camera. I was like, well, I just been gonna yell because I don't. I don't know. And uh, but yeah, we, we like walked around and there was just like people everywhere giveaways everywhere booty girls everywhere you know like holy crap you know it was it was it was a vape show i don't mind yeah. the giveaway i do mind the giveaway team free shit all the time stuff yes i do giveaways myself but what really aggravates me is the music if i cannot have an oh, audible God. conversation with you then how am i ever going to explain a product to you that i am trying to get you to save your life with that would piss me. I'd, I'd find a way to sabotage the audio up there. I'd, I'd put Stan over control over it, you know, so the crackling and all that good stuff. <laughs> they finally just cut it off. <laughs> oh, you suck. Oh, you son shots of a bitch. Fired, dude. Shots fired. <laughs> yeah, the music. Uh, that would drive me nuts. I mean, it actually, I, there's a place and time for it, maybe at, in the after hours, but during the show, have it audible, but not just blaring loud. There's no reason you should feel the reverb off of yeah. anything. Nick, Nick was losing his voice. I don't know if Stan, if you lost your voice a little bit, but like, yeah, I didn't, I didn't really lose my voice until I, I got back and my voice, you could, I was, it was tired. And you know, I'm, I'm my, I have a background in opera performance, and you know, we were taught lots of things to keep our voices healthy, um, and those shows are just brutal on your voice and you only get one of those right and not a whole lot of people talk about this or care about this but you only get one <laughs> right and it, you said i love booties sorry <laughs> <laughs> when you lose it you're that's it like you know and like you're out you know and hopefully you get it back so it was irritating because we had to just be like Ah, the entire time we just had to like scream practically the entire time to, to be able to hear anybody. I mean, and there were areas that were better than others, but if you're right next to the, the speakers, Oh God. Juice and the fact that there's like, yeah. Oh, the, fact, the fact that there's like four different kinds of music going on at the same time. Oh, there's uh, so much music there. Like too much, way too much. Everybody's trying to outblast everybody else. And it's like, it's just rough. It, Everyone it's, had a DJ. It's okay to have like, you know what? If they all turn their music down halfway, and you could hear the music within like two or three booths away. Awesome, that's fine, you know. But the whole place could hear every sound system going at all times. Um, in <laughs> fact, on the demo takeover on Nick's vlog, it was hilarious because the girls at the Lamborghini what I don't even know what booth that was. The Lamborghini <laughs> I, booth. It doesn't matter. And uh, <laughs> the yeah, Lambo at the, Lam at the Lambo booty girl booth. Um, there was a shirt that came over from the fruit roll giveaway. Like they threw it far out there and it landed right in the middle of like their little circle of dancing booty girls. And one of them looked disgusted and she reaches out and yeah. she kicks it. She kicks yeah, the my, shirt right at me. And I caught Beyonce it. I noticed that like, too. What, what, what am I supposed to do with this? <laughs> but she you was see mad on the video. Mad. She's got, like disgusted and kicks it at me. Got in the way of the performance, you know? <laughs> uh, it was a good time. So, so as far as product spotlight, um, I can never remember the name of the, the company. I'm sorry. Nick what? Salt Nick. Salt Nick Salt, brand. Salt Nick brand. Um, the Stig. I think we all pretty much agree that this is a good product and a good way forward. Yes. I, I, would say, I want say more. So. I'd, I'd like to see a link to possibly get some more of these. I'd like to go ahead and purchase them well, now. They're, they're not they're available not for at least a month. Who do we, I still we'll talk afterwards. I just need to find yeah. out who to contact on getting some because I want a mess ton for the yeah. very simple fact that I can hand them out to people. We Absolutely. have we have uh we have we have business cards and stuff. We'll we'll hook you up with that contact. But yeah, it it's uh yeah, no, I mean the and they were super friendly and they were super willing to like give us stuff to promote it and whatnot. And I, I really appreciate that, especially as a smaller channel. Like that really make means a lot to me to be given a product and the opportunity to not necessarily promote it, but to review it and to, to, you know, to get, put it out there, whether it's positive or negative. And in this case, I really like it. And this is the prototype guys. If, yeah. as long as they don't mess it up, the final product should be pretty, pretty sweet. And I'm, you know, I don't know if here's the real question though, for those of us who have dedicated pod systems, will this replace something like this? Because with the fix you get four, after you purchase the device, you get four pods for 20, 21 bucks or so. 
and they each have like 440 puffs in them, right? So it's well, way more value for money to buy the fixed pods, right? But you do have to buy the device and not lose it. Well, we're the kind of we're the kind of people we uh we like to test this stuff and you know tell people right. about it and try to help with them and things like that. So we purchase a lot of stuff and and get handed a lot of stuff and to do just that, right? Well, <clears throat> I think that if you have something like this and you're into something like this and it's working for you, there's not really any reason to purchase something like this unless you're like me and you go to the bar and you get a little tipsy and you forget things like this. Yes. <laughs> or if so you're like standing your out to the bar, you pick up a pack luggage. of these. Say what? Or if you're like standing and you forget half of your luggage at the uh, at the hotel. All right. Can we talk about that for a second? Sure. Let's go. Let's talk about it. <laughs> I had to pack at four in the morning after drinking like like six brown ales. Well, we were like fucked up. Six, six or seven vodka and Red Bulls. I don't know. I was pretty, pretty. You were pretty, tanked. Yeah, <laughs> sure. I was tanked is a good word. That's, that's for sure. I was like, <laughs> I was partying, and uh, and then I had to go to my hotel, and I had to be up in three hours to get to my ride to go to the airport, and I had not packed at all. So yeah, I left half my stuff there, and Dima won't give it back. He's holding it for ransom. Um, he he. Look, look. You're just gonna have to come to Minnesota to go to the Cleveland show. You see how scraggly and nasty, like how scraggly and out of this world my beard looks. It's because Demo is holding my beard wash and all my nice stuff for ransom. I used it the other day. Looks, that's it, why he looks so handsome. <laughs> looked quite nice after I was done. I put some, I put some, uh, some, uh, you know, some beard oil in there. Felt legit, right? And it has that manly like. I'm not sure I'm gonna give it back. That. <laughs> 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 Very cool. So we're going to be contacting the company to try to get some more of these stigs so that we can kind of pass them around because I think it's, I think it's legit. I think it's a, a good product. I would love to I do some giveaways with be them. A positive product. I would love to do some giveaways. I would love to be able to give them away to they, some subscribers. They contacted me today, actually. Really? Yeah. No shit. Well, Very cool. I'm going to Very I'm cool. gonna have to shoot them an email. <clears throat> Send them this link back. Uh, um, yeah. they, they hit me up on Instagram, which is like the worst place for business contacts, but yeah. It happens. So, guys, here is a little something that we got. If you guys in chat aren't aware, um, Vape Stew has an official email, vapestew at gmail.com. Hopefully, somebody will throw it in the chat for me so I don't have to do it. And um, vapestew at gmail.com. And we've got an email. And our very first official Vape Stew email, I'm going to read it out loud to you. It says, I want a shout out. <laughs> yes. It says, uh, I know who this came from, and uh, she's a very sweet girl. It says, I, w I want a shout out. I may be able to join for a little bit on my break. I'll be at work. My break is around that time. Is that cool? Question mark. And absolutely, that came from Saytown Girl, S A Y T O W N Girl. Her name is Shannon, and she is a loyal subscriber and follower on Instagram. You guys should go check her out on Instagram, Saytown Girl. She's from San Antonio, and uh, very, very cool, cool lady. I got to meet her in San Antonio at the show, and uh, she was very excitable and fun. Um, so, yeah, check her out. There's your shout-out, Shannon. Uh, congratulations being the very first to ever email vapestew at gmail.com. If you guys would like to email us at vapestew at gmail.com, you can do that. Shout-outs, questions, um, even things you may not want us to read live, you can put that in there. Um, whatever you want to send us, go ahead and send it to us and we will get to it. Okay. Also quick question. We've been toying with the idea of starting a vape stew Facebook group. So please throw an X one in the chat. If you want that to happen, because we're trying to kind of figure out if we want to do that. Cause we all have, you know, like I have my own group. Nick has his own group. We haven't figured out what to call it. I had a good name, but then Nick said it was I I was should, not being his group. You you can do whatever you want. It's a free no, country. We should run, we should run a contest. A contest? A naming contest? contest? Oh, there we go. We we what's run a naming it? contest where okay. basically, okay, here's what, can I do this, guys? you care? Yeah, go for it. Go, go sure, Captain Crackly. <laughs> about to say, do you want, would you like to uh, text it to us in the Cap chat over here on the side and read it aloud for you? <laughs> you know, or would you like to send that via email? He's, He's so, email. It together. <laughs> He's so by, bummed. He's so email. bummed. I'm so bummed. I, I work so hard to get this stuff good. Right. It's good again. It's good again. I know, brother. It's I'm on again. the same thing have, right now. I have an idea. 
but Stan wants to take this, so I, I can... No, what's your idea? Yeah, my, my, here's my idea. Here's my idea. Shoot us an email at vapestew at gmail.com with a, with a name that you think would be good for the Vapes2 Facebook group. Joel with his flashing lights over there. Um, <laughs> and we will read them this week. And let's just give it like a Thursday cutoff, right? By Thursday, next Vapes2, we should read some of these responses. Pick, pick like a good five or ten and then pick from them. So and we got one email time. so far. What if we don't get more than one email? <laughs> That's okay. We will get more than one email. We in will. the subject line, the power of you have to put power. in the subject line. You have to put Facebook group. Just put Facebook group in the subject line of the email, and then you can put your name in there, and we will have a vote on it. And the winner will get a prize of our deciding. We will. I'll, I'll throw in for that. By the way, we'll all yeah. throw in for that. I'll I'm toss sure. a set of coils in or something. Uh, Demo, what? your one thing, one K <laughs> giveaway. Yeah, I've been trying to uh, ask for a PayPal before. I just asked for it over in chat too. By the way, Stan, as soon as I was going to do it just now, but it's not going to work out that way because I don't have his PayPal information. But I'm going to send you a Dreamer and a Lucid compliments of me for you to give away in your one K oh, giveaway. Awesome. Uh, 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 you're going to send him a Dreamer, and I'm going to send him a Lucid. Like well, I'm going to pay gonna... for a Dreamer and a Lucid, so if you don't get two Lucids and you know you only got one, all right, you get all the right, other right. one. And again, that's something that I don't even have, but man, I I support you in your drive, Demo. You got good quality videos, dude. I'm looking forward to seeing you shoot to the top. I want to be sure to give back to your people as well. Bam. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. I really do. All the love. That's what it's about, man. That's what it. That is what it is about. Joel, Joel not only does he bring the cool, he brings the love. I think Joel cool right love. now has the best quality out of all of us, and I'm kind of <laughs> mad about that. Well, what's that? <laughs> your 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 camera quality and audio is is really good, man. Uh, thank you. I have it's something I had to make a conscious decision on. Uh, typically, everything I buy and give away and review, I pay for out of my own pocket. And I had to step back from that a little bit over the last couple of weeks to invest in myself so that I can get off that plateau that I was on. You know, I was stuck at like 1800 for a while. And I was like, you know, the only way I'm going to ever grow is if I invest that money back into myself. And I hate doing it. It seems selfish at times. But ultimately, in the long run, I'm going to be able to give more back to people. And it's just a one time or not a one time deal, but, you know, just a starting deal and. I look forward to it, man. I, I, a lot of things are coming. A lot of things are coming. <laughs> Excited. Looking forward the, to You it. guys yeah. got to see some stuff that y'all seen privately. I got to show y'all some tease pictures of that. And yeah, we did. I can't wait till that comes to be, man. That is something I'm really stoked on. And I hope the I can't wait to share it with everybody. <laughs> I hope the Vape Stew crew is the first, Joel. That's all I got to say. You will be the. We'll talk more in the chat, but there's some people <laughs> that are in the in the works i was specifically told i couldn't share it with certain individuals and i was like what the fuck you mean i can't share it with these individuals are you these serious guys? no y'all weren't none of those people though oh, just okay. for clarification <laughs> all right i like tony barry's recommendation for the facebook group name yeah boy drink everybody boy <laughs> <laughs> well there I'm it is think i think, the, I I think something. go ahead what would you say I guess I missed something, so I'm going to drink. Yeah, they wanted us to play a drinking game that everybody drinks every time they, somebody says. Well, that only counts with shots, dude. Beer don't work. Shots work. Everybody got to pour up a shot. Well, when your well, beer I'm is 7% alcohol. <laughs> I'm going to each of you a bottle of Everclear. Oh, uh, no. No, don't do that. So, Everything all right. We have, to, we have to think about this, like, rationally here. When is the full Vape Stew crew meetup? I know. Whoa, hello. Cassandra's hello. here. Hello. Hi. hi, Cassandra. This is my fiance, everybody. Say hi to Cassandra. Her hair matches my background. I know, right? <laughs> She's got, got blue hair now. What do you <laughs> he said your hair matches your background. His background. Yeah, it does. Very um, much so. So what are you talking about? The full vape stoop yeah. meetup. What are you talking about? Today? When are we all going to be together in one place? Like this was three quarters of the vape stew crew. I keep calling it that because uh, Demo got that in my head. Yeah, vape stew crew. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, 
my God. Uh, just look at chat, Timo. Um, <laughs> we had three quarters of the Vapes crew, but it, we didn't feel whole. We did not feel whole. We need to feel whole once again by uh, the, the presence of Mr. Joel. I apologize that I did not, did not make that. Again, that was one of them decisions where I just said financially, let me hold on to this so I can invest this here. And it sucks that it was probably one of the biggest conventions and shows of the states. It, ECC is like the holy grail to me. But I know Foxwood is coming up, and I'm not going to say it will or will not, but it is something I'm definitely trying to do. I'm actually trying to get a... Uh, Twisted to go with me and film a 24 hour live stream on the way there. Oh, God. Oh, that. Yeah. Farts and everything. <laughs> everything. No, and no cutouts, no nothing. Like the full nine yards. If you go to sleep, you go to sleep. If you wake up, you wake up. If, you know, this 24 hour live stream, and I think a lot of people would, would tune in as they could. And Foxwood being a one day event would be really, very interesting. Well, I hope you make it because that would be awesome. And if you're planning on going, fly into Logan because it's only about an hour away from Logan. Um, the hotel price is expensive, but you can get the hotel that's a mile away for a hundred bucks a night if you book right now. Um, so I'm just saying it is possible. And they yeah, have a 24-hour tunnel. The room I looked at was like fourteen hundred a night. No, dude, it's not that much. It's yeah, it's the suite, still... man. I want the big room. Oh, you want the suite? The, you want the suite? The jacuzzi oh, tub, yes, the whole nine yards. Like, all right, as long as you use that ju jacuzzi tub with twisted, like no, you guys both. <laughs> no, 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 that's the deal. It has to be heart shaped. It has to be heart shaped. You and twisted in the honeymoon suite, dude. That's the only way it's gonna happen. I was gonna you make him what? get his own room. <laughs> we should all split. We should all split the honeymoon suite five ways. And then get you and Twisted in the heart shaved bathtub, and then we'll put it on three Hell different yeah. vlogs the next why, day. Why don't you guys plan ahead? Because I already booked a room. I'm I will be there. That's my hometown show. I'm driving there. Like okay, Dad. You guys gotta. <laughs> you have to plan for your future. All right. Everybody's still talking about my fiance and how people think she's pretty. I I agree with all of you. <laughs> he was trying his hardest not to let his jealous side show. Right. <laughs> Demo, you're getting all red. I know. I am. Yeah. I think she's. I think she's pretty. All right, um, guys, let's let's start with some chat uh, questions. And How she brought me a, a sandwich. Oh well, there you go. Damn, Our that's a keeper right there. Best fiance right ever, right? Dude, she is a keeper. <laughs> she brings you meat and bread and cheese. Hey Tony, send that stuff to the uh, vapestew at gmail.com. That'll be. Uh, we could throw that in. Yeah. That's a contender. <clears throat> so if you use the word crew, I'm claiming copyright on this video. <laughs> and yes, you can. And yes, you can submit multiple. There was a question. You can submit multiple entries. If you ha as have many a, as you a, want. Few, a few different ideas, submit as many as you want, because we need a good name. <laughs> Abuser said, thank God she's prettier than you, bro. I saw that. <laughs> um, okay. So if you guys have any questions or anything you want us to get to, go ahead and throw them in the chat. Um, if you just want us to give you a shout out or whatever, go ahead and throw that in the chat. We're going to go ahead and get to chat stuff right now. And all right. Um, <laughs> I totally, totally spaced on my question of the day. So you guys can talk amongst Dude, yourselves for 30 sure seconds enough. while I figure it out. Um, shit. All right. Um, how about what was your best, like, what was... Not hardware, nothing like that. Um, about the show, what was the part that was like the most fun for you or that you like enjoyed the most? All right. I'm going to start it off. Uh, I will say the, the prime point in the show for me was going out to dinner with everybody. Uh, Daniel was there. Um, you know, the guys from uh, Hometown Hero, E-Liquid, were, were there. James the Franklin. What? Look at the chat. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> <I love it. laughs> sorry. That yeah. was really funny to me. Um, but you know, that dinner that we went to, what was it called? Like Silas's 50 uh, Slater's 50, 50. Sl Slater's 50, 50. That place was awesome. First of all. And we were all like so hungry and just like so tired and everything, but it was just being there with uh, the hashtag vape fam. Um, just made my, my whole evening. 
and then chilling afterwards. That was really cool too. It was that night that really just did it for me. Like Squad House was really cool and all, but like just hanging out with like our crew kind of thing. Yeah. Was really, really cool. Yeah. I would agree with that, man. I was just going to say that. I was going to say that. Was it the last night or the night before the last night? It was night? the night before. Right. Yeah. The night before the last night when we were all just kind of chilling, you know, vaping on the balcony and having some drinks and whatnot. Um, you know, that was definitely, definitely legit. Okay. <clears throat> My favorite part was absolutely the last night where we went down to the club. And uh, hung out with Matt and uh, Brett. And it was us three and those guys. <laughs> did, did, wait, did anyone catch <laughs> did anyone catch my vlog where I put that little clip in right at the end? Where you guys are dancing? <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. That was amazing. <laughs> I was doing the Bernie. I was doing the the Oh my god. Oh, guys. That was totally, so good. Totally were. Okay. So Oh, goodness gracious. I just got on some dirty questions. Okay. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. It was 50 adult questions to ask your friends when you're drunk. I don't know how I got to that. Well, I'm not um, yeah, right. that yet. So here's your this or that question. We're going to go with Joel first because we haven't heard from him enough, and he got in here late. Okay. Are you ready, Joel? You're going to like this. Oh, shoot it. Would you rather French kiss <laughs> Betty White or Miley Cyrus? I know that my answer to that question all day. I'm going to tell you right now, Betty White. Okay. And she's Fuck good yeah. at it. <laughs> that explain it. Fuck yeah. Just age. Legendary. <laughs> you know, like, dude. She's older than sliced bread. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> There's that meme. I saw that meme. It's true, says, too. Yeah, like sliced bread was invented this year. Betty White was born this year. Yeah. I just had to do that, man, just because. Yeah. And I'm Molly Cyrus, I don't know. Like, I'm sure Betty White has done some outlandish, crazy shit, but Molly Cyrus, who I don't want any blisters or nothing like that. You know, <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> like, Betty White, she's old. She ain't got no blisters or sores. She still looks very yeah, well for her of. age. Yeah, well, she looks very well for her age. Molly mm -hmm. Cyrus, no way, not happening, bub. So I would go with Betty White, White too. Yeah. All right, yeah, go ahead. Email. Email. I'm with you. Nope. Um, that's that's for all the same reasons. I'm I'm with you. I mean, you know, Miley's hot. I guess like, you know, like she's too trashy. You know what I mean? Like Betty Betty, Betty White is, uh, you know, yeah. I, I'd go with Betty White for sure. She's a classy. She's a classy broad. <laughs> She's classy broad. <laughs> classy broad. <laughs> All right, go ahead, Nick. Um, I'm gonna go. I'm actually gonna go against the curve here because the uh, the question did not specify what era of Miley Cyrus. It doesn't say right now or five years ago or Don't whatnot. You dare be a pedophile, Nick. <laughs> what? No, I'm not gonna be a. <laughs> I'm not gonna be a pedophile. All right, but I'm gonna go with. Way. Miley Cyrus, right before the transition, that era. What? Um, yeah. So I, I don't know, man. Like, I think that like kind of cute, kind of hot thing works for for her. Um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with it, man. I'm gonna go with Miley. All right. Well, I wish I could have gone first for the shock factor. Um, I'm gonna choose Betty White as well. And my reasoning is because uh, Miley Cyrus scares me. Um, <laughs> have, you guys, have you guys ever seen Species? Seen Species where like the the chick like like jumps on that dude and like starts to like give him a French kiss and her tongue like goes down his throat and like blah, like hurts him real bad and kills him. You haven't seen Species? I'm good, I'm good on. I'll pass. All right, well it's gross, and that's what I think about when I think Miley Cyrus. Um, so. I would definitely go Betty White because, dude, she, she knows what she's doing. She knows what she wants. She'd probably just want to walk away from it at the end. And, uh, uh, dude, you'd have a legendary story. Everybody would be like, whoa, Miley Cyrus for like a week. But, dude, Betty White, that's life. That is life. Whatever, robot. <laughs> Robo-stan. Oh, Mr. Robot. Standbot. 
Stanbot. <laughs> Hashtag Stanbot. Stanbot crew. So, all know. right. <laughs> King Ginger says strangers have the best candy. <laughs> I I said on the ECC weekend so many times I was like, that's the plan, Stan. And like <laughs> like thing, things like that, you know, like like just like anytime I could, because I was like, you have you have the name that everybody like says for those kind of things, you know. So yeah, I do. It is it is a thing. Um, I had a there was a question. Oh, sorry. No, I was just gonna say I used to have a buddy named Chuck, and oh. I say when I meet people, I say what's up, and I used to always, and I I would usually say what's up, Nick, or what's up, Demo. I usually used to go what's up, Chuck, and it just made me feel weird every time I said it. Yeah, just every time, Chuck. What's up, Chuck? Um, up, Chuck? so there was a question about an after show. Um, um, uh, so I know I'm, Nick is not well. I still have two beers left. So yeah, I have two beers too. Uh, I think we should do one. Um, but I have things to build. So what I'm what I'm curious about is if you guys would mind if I popped over to the desk um, for the after show to build while you while we're all chatting. Sir, yeah. you eat a buffet whenever we're on vapes too, so we're not going to mind you building <laughs> something <laughs> vape related. <laughs> It's not going to bother us, I promise you. I try to keep it. You know, I try to. I, I'll, I'll 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 mute it when my drill's going. I'll put it that way. Yeah, please do that. Yeah, that would not be fun. Please don't, you know, you know, don't subject us to that. But uh, yeah, I'm down, dude, for a little bit. Dan, at least. I sent that to you. I sent you the payment. That's what I was showing on the. Yeah, no, yeah. Show. I was presented that whole time, though. So no one saw it. No, I don't. I, I did that on purpose. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, my bad. Yes. <laughs> That's okay. It, all, it got on there for a minute, and I was like, oh, wait, what is happening? <laughs> I just wanted to let you know that it, it did go through. It is there, so you're good. No, nah, you're fine. You're fine. That's good. Um, I'll take care of that. Demo, you got a Lucid Dreamer setup coming. Ooh, and, boy! Um, <laughs> wow, drink. Everyone drink. Drink, everybody. Yeah. Oh, my beer's gone. <laughs> Shit. Uh, Dude, I'll you did that to yourself. Boy, you didn't have no more drinks. That's I'll have a baby. Mm -hmm. Boy! Oh, my we God. We know your game, Demo. Just like getting a hotel room across the street from a... a so... Uh, in and out burger. I know your game. Oh my god, dude, that was clutch. Can I just say that was? I didn't plan clutch. that at all. I didn't plan that at all. I just no, picked but I it. knew it was there. I knew oh, it was there. Oh shit! I didn't plan it, but there was an in and out across from our hotel, and I was like, "Fuck yeah!" Because if you know me, you, you know that I swear. After show. Okay, sorry. Did you sorry, get a guys. Whataburger yet? That's all I got. I've had a, I've had Whataburger. It's it's good. It's fine. But I'm an In and Out guy, man. It's just yeah. Like, yeah that's what she minutes. said. Hey. Oh hey. 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 I'm Boy. only a few minutes away from getting uh, from getting monetized. So we're, you're gonna have to watch the cussing. I'm only right. a few minutes away from getting monetized. Oh, sorry. So I'll, hopefully, I'll be monetized soon. Like it probably probably to make a buck fifty or whatever. But you know. Wait, 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 wait. We we says uh, in and out four by four. I I went. I was gonna go for a four by four, but Demo actually talked me down to a three by three. And you're glad I did that too. Yes, I am glad because that three by three would have been a problem for dude, you. I got filled the, the hell up. Demo initially had a four by four. I mean, you might as well have. You guys go ahead. You just wait to watch my vlog. Oh, yeah. yes. did you did you, <laughs> film, did you film that? Did you I, film? I got I got footage of no no, but I got I got the whole thing other than you actually stuff in your face. Oh. In my bed. Oh, okay. So I got to tell you guys a story Sweet while we're here. Oh, no, don't tell, tell the story. No, 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 no. Okay. 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 But, okay. But Say no more. I will tell Say no more. Since, since uh, uh, Nick's vlog already went up, that my my room when I arrived smelled like butthole because of old in and out, like just <laughs> laying around the entire room. These that guys was, don't even was, throw their freaking food trash away. It's just laying all over the damn place. That was Nick and I. That was Nick's, our Nick's. Like, Eating cheese dirty fries all over where my oh. freaking underwear need to go. Dude, you didn't have the maids like come in and they should have, but they didn't throw it away. <laughs> They're like, there's too much food here. <laughs> we can't throw this away. Yeah. It's wasteful. I, I ate on my vlog, like <laughs> so did I. I. <laughs> okay. And I got um, an issue, an apology of sorts to the UK vapors, in which I made angry last time with my truthful statements. Um <laughs> Just if you go back and watch it and you listen closely to the point in which I was speaking about the negative blogs or news articles that were being written overseas, uh, I'd stated how would they like it if those that were writing it 
you know, I went over there and, you know, showed them a good old Texas one-on-one. Uh, just apparently some vapors in the UK thought I was talking about all of you know, that area, but no, I was not. I was talking about those that were writing those harmful articles to vaping. And that stands for anybody that has a harmful thing to say about vaping. It is not an educated opinion or decision. Man, I don't, that's something I'm passionate about, you know, and I'm going to say, I'm sorry if I offended anybody, but it was a truthful statement and I will leave it at that. Talk bad about vaping. Joel's going to get your ass. It, it, I'll it, get you. It, it's just something I can't tolerate, man. It's something, like I said, I spoke about it again today. Now, when you have loved ones that have passed away and your mother and it's something you deal with daily, it's not just affected your life. It's continuing to affect your life. It is something you it, I hold dear to me and I'm not just going to sit back and just let the bashing proceed. So if anybody I offended, don't beat up Stan when he goes over there by himself. Beat me and stand up when we go together. All right. Oh, thanks. Appreciate that. No, you know what? <clears throat> no need for an apology, Joel. I mean, it, it was a misunderstanding, and and you're a passionate individual, and that's all good. But I appreciate, I appreciate that. Um, let's go ahead and sign out here, guys. Demo, what do you got to say for yourself? Travel vlogs coming up. I've I've edited about mm, I would say almost a half of it, so I've just got to finish up. And uh, I'm going to put that out. <clears throat> that will be coming probably, hoping by Monday. That's the idea, is, is hoping by Monday. And Come then, on. Um, it'll probably be more like Sunday. Or, um, you know, Saturday is supposed to be my day for that kind of stuff. But we'll see. I don't know if I'll be able to get it done in to, to, by tomorrow. So we'll see. But um, <clears throat> either way, after that, I've got more reviews coming. I've got a lot of awesome products, uh, Dead Rabbit SQ. I've got a lot of new stuff that I picked up at the show and whatnot coming up for review. And, uh, you know, uh, send, send me messages. If I don't post content in a while, send me messages. Be like, Demo, where's, where's the content? Just poke bro? them. Post, just, poke just bust, them. bust my balls, man. Poke me. Um, cause, cause sometimes you know, I, get, I get, I get locked into my work life and I just kind of, I get I get kind of swayed away from the YouTube. It's just the the sacrifice I've had to make make so far. But hoping to get all the you know content out on a much more consistent schedule now and um, you know whatnot. That my ECC was my come to Jesus moment for all of that. So uh, yeah. So anyway, well, thank you guys so much for watching us tonight, and I'll give it over to the next person. Go ahead, Nick. Um. So. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, thank you all for watching, of course. Um, we had a great time tonight, I'm sure, as all would agree. Uh, stay tuned for the after show, which is going to happen. It's going to be on Demo's channel because uh, he needs content. I'm just going <laughs> to wait for him to unmute real quick and retort. He's not paying any attention to you. No, he's not. He's not paying any attention. I was attention. chatting, guys. <laughs> um, uh, no, uh, yeah, no. Uh, it, yeah, that's cool. We can we can put it on my channel. Totally Boom. All right. You heard it here first, guys. So it's going to be on we'll Demo's be, channel. As soon as we end this, I'm going to give it anywhere between 15 and 20, 20 25 minutes. I got to use the bathroom and so get, my, get myself yeah. set up over there. there. Link uh, channel in the chat. Pretty much yeah. on the hour, basically. Yeah. Pretty much on the hour. On the hour, anyway. I'd say. Anyways, um, yeah, thank you guys so much for joining us, listening to us ramble for hours. Um, thank you guys for chatting with us and, you know, staying engaged. I really like where this show is going, and I can't wait to see the future of Vape Stew. This is awesome. I love you guys. And, uh, you know, check my channel out and check out my links and all my descriptions, et cetera, et cetera. That's all I have to say. Boom. There you go. Done. Mr. Joel, what say you? I'm just going to say thank you guys for having me again. Sorry to come in so late. I uh, just had a lot of technical difficulty, difficulties. See, I'm even having problems speaking. But uh, what do I have coming up? Content, of course, content. And it should be better content for the viewers. Uh, right now, I do have a big giveaway going on from Vape Taser. Shout out to them guys. Much love to them. Uh, Twisted. Shout out to that dude as well, man. I'm on the push to 2K. I'm less, I think I'm right less than 100 away from 2K, and that means a lot to me. Vape Stew guys, thank each and every one of you guys for allowing me to be here with y'all. I hate I didn't make ECC. I will make the after show for a little bit, as long as my little man will let me, because he's fighting for attention because I've been crowded up on this computer all day. 
thank you to the Stig, our product yeah. spotlight tonight. That is a very, very interesting concept, and I look forward to these right here. I really do. Just that's all I got for you guys. Thank y'all for putting up with me. I appreciate it. And to the guys I pissed off in the UK, it's all good. We're straight. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, guys. Just right one, checking in, checking out. Stan's presenting himself, but I'm still going to talk any damn way. No. <laughs> right, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. You, no, no, I want you to no, do it I over. was just saying. I am nope, you're staying presented. Right one, checking in and checking out at the same damn time. Y'all stay blessed. Absolutely love you. There you go. There you go. What were you going to say, Nick? Nothing. Oh, okay. All right. Well, <clears throat> you guys know what the deal is. LucidRDA.com. Check it out. Got your uh, your Lucid and your dreamer mods at lucidrda.com. They are re-upped and ready for sale, and there's not many there. So check it out. Um, don't have any codes just yet for right now. I don't know when we're going to do another one, but you know how that goes. Uh, I wouldn't wait. Things sell out quick. Also, Tenacious TX Vapes on Instagram and Tenacious TX Vapes on Facebook. If you guys want to get in on the contest of naming our new Vape Stew Facebook group, go ahead and email us at vapestew at gmail.com. Um, also, vapestew at gmail.com. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, shout outs, whatever, we'll get to it. Uh, we love you guys. Check us out after show where anything goes on Demo's channel, Demo Vapes. And uh, yeah, Joe, Boy! Oh, drink. God damn it. <laughs> drink. Hold on. Wait, I got I to gotta fulfill my my duties um man me knowing these guys has been bad for my health you guys stay safe you guys have a fantastic rest of your day and remember ah they bond friends and we're